Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I have a very exciting video planned for us today. My friend Tabs McCaffrey and I, she is a Canadian reseller, but today we are doing a video together where we both went to our different thrift stores and we did a little thrift haul and we're gonna hop on a Zoom call here in a second together. She's gonna show you a few things that she found and then I'll give you the haul of everything that I found as well, but it should be a lot of fun. And I really, really love Tabs. She and I have been interacting and talking with each other for months now on Instagram and we watch each other's channels, but she's a sweetheart. I adore her and if you guys like my channel then you I'm sure you'll love hers as well and so we're gonna hop on that zoom call here in a second and I'll show you guys what I found as well in a moment but if you guys are not already subscribed to her channel then you should definitely go and check her video out after you finish this one and also if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're here from tabs welcome I'm so happy to have you here if you guys enjoy today's video then make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on my videos as well so Let's hop into Tabs and I talking about what we found. Okay guys, so I'm here with my friend Tabs. She and I did a little bit of thrifting and I hit up my new favorite thrift store, Second Avenue Thrift, which was very exciting. And Tabs is gonna tell you a little bit about where she went thrifting over in Canada, which is so cool. And she's gonna give you a mini haul of what she found. So Tabs, I'm gonna hand it over to you. You wanna show them what you found? Yeah, for sure. Hey guys, I'm Tabs and I'm up in Canada. So I live in a town called Saskatoon, such a strange name. <laughs> and so Canadian. We have some, <laughs> very Canadian. And we have uh, like a Savers Club value village. <laughs> Great. So I found this really cool vintage button down shirt. Oh my gosh, I love the pattern. This is totally something that I carry in my shop. I'm gonna show you guys the tag. So cool. Oh, how do I get this tag? So cool. Love the pattern, like boho. I feel like this is a very 90s, maybe even a little bit of an 80s vibe. Uh, so perfect piece for my closet. I love that. It looks like cave paintings almost. How cool. Right? Yeah, it's like, um, what, what am I thinking? What's, it's not architect, what the heck? archaeological is uh -huh. yeah <laughs> and then the other item I found are these amazing shoes they are for some reason they don't have the typical stamp they're supposed to have can you guess do you, do you know what these are are they blundstones what no. are they I don't know it's tell me logs. Oh my gosh, I've been I looking know. for those. Those are so cool. Look at the style. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something crazy. I actually listed these and they sold in less than 24 hours for $185. Shut up, that's amazing. I know, I know. I was like, I was so shocked, so shocked on these. So those are like my two favorite finds, um, but lots of other great pieces in the haul, definitely. That's amazing. How much did you pay for the shoes? $27. I know. Worth it. That's amazing. Okay, so, and here's something like I've, I, I've actually talked to a couple of their resellers about John Fluvog. I will pay up for those. So those shoes, I would probably pay up to a or up to $75. If I find a good style, um, relatively current quirky, like there's certain factors I'm looking for, but I will pay up for those shoes because they are selling from 150 to like $250 easily, easily. Oh my gosh. That's, so that's something you pay up for because there is big profit to be made on those. Yeah. Especially if you <laughs> sold them within 24 hours. For I like know, 150. I like know. if you waited even, who knows how much you could get. That's right? amazing. And I, had two, I had two offers on them on eBay. So I just accepted the highest offer. Yeah. Maybe they would have sold for more if I would have kept them on, but I was like, I'll take yeah. it. I'll take it and go. <laughs> that's definitely worth it. Just get them out the door. Yes. yes wow. Yes. So that was um, a great little excursion into what you found. I'm excited to see the rest of the haul. Yes, yes. Make sure you tune in. I'm excited to see yours as well and see all the cool pieces because I know you always find gems. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Now we're going to head into what I found in my thrift haul, but after you're finished with this video, make sure to go over to Tab's channel. I have it linked in the description and see the rest of the things that she found. I'm going to go watch it as soon as I'm done watching mine. So now let's head into the thrift haul. Okay, guys, let's jump into the haul. I went really hard at the thrift store. I spent so much time there. I think I was there for like at least four hours, maybe five 
probably around five. And this is my receipt. It's quite long. In total, I spent $146.65, but I got so many amazing finds. If you watched Tab's video before mine, then you'll have seen two of my finds already. And like, they are so good. This is probably my best thrift haul of all time. I know I've said that before, but I just keep on finding better and better things. It's so exciting. This day at this thrift store that I went to, anything with a blue tag was 50% off and anything with a silver or pink tag was 33% off. And I went as soon as this thrift store opened, the very beginning of the day, there was a line outside, but nobody went to the clothing as soon as the door was open. They all went to Home Goods, and I was like, what are they doing? I went there on a Thursday because that's the day they change what things are on sale. So I got there early, and I found so many great things. I have quite a few things to share with you guys. I did save some things for my $1 thrift challenge, my series where I started with one single dollar, and now we're up to like over $2,000 of profit. We have lots of items that I've been selling. So you'll see some items in that. I also threw for myself a new coffee table, so it was a really good Good trip but let's jump in to the haul but the very first thing that I picked up is something I just showed on Tabs' channel too it's just the most exciting thing I found I cannot wait to show you I can't find the top here it is this dress was such a good find look at this dress it is so cute it has this like ruffle at the bottom we have this ruching on the side and for this brand ruching is a really good keyword but this is the most adorable little dress from Veronica Beard, which is so exciting for me. I've never found anything from this brand before. It has a really cool tag. Memorize this tag if you've not found it because this is such a good piece to pick up. I paid up for this. I paid $17.50 for this. It was not on sale, but that is an amazing price for Veronica Beard. It's in a size two. This is the Dakota dress and I found the stock photos of it already. It is such a good find. A recent sale on Poshmark. It was new with tags. It sold for $250. This dress originally cost $550, but for dresses that were not new with tags, the comps looked like right around like 100, 150, sometimes up to 200. So I grabbed this. This is such a good find and it's so cute. It's perfect for spring and summer. If you have a wedding to attend, like, can you imagine how cute is that? So size two, and this is 100% silk as well. So great pickup. If you find Veronica Beard, look up comps first, but pick it up. So $17 and I probably will make around 100 to $200 off of that. So starting off with a bang, already paid for my whole haul with just this piece and we have a lot more to show. So let's go to the next one. This next piece I was excited about finding in like the sweatshirt section mostly because I'm doing this collab with my friend Tabs and she is from Canada. So I thought it was really funny that I found this sweatshirt, which actually has some pretty good resale value to it. It's from Pajar, Pajar? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I was gonna ask Tabs and I forgot, but this is a good brand. It's a really thick and nice sweater. It is cropped, it's a women's piece. Again, I found the stock photo already for this, so that is great. This is in a size large. And that is what the tag looks like. Super cool piece. This was not marked up that much. It was marked at $8.29, but silver was 33% off. So I spent about $5 for this. And the comps look pretty good on this. It looked like it would resell between $35 and $50. There weren't very many listed on Poshmark at least. Makes sense. I think it is only really sold in Canada. And I think this is a shoe brand. If any of my Canadian friends know, please let me know. But I was excited to find that. Maybe it's more common to find it in Canada, but... There's only like two available listings on Poshmark in women's and there's only like four solds. So it could do well. It could just be a weird thing that people don't know about though, at least here on the American market. So that'll be an interesting piece to experiment with for sure. And then I usually skip the short section, but I also usually skip the denim section and I always find the best denim at the thrift store. But I went to the short section and I found this really cute pair of purple shorts. They have that kind of like, almost like a tulip overlay and they're a really beautiful purple color. And then if you can see this, this is the logo for Free People. So if you see this, this is the Free People Movement logo. So this is from Free People Movement. I found this pair of little shorts. They're really cute, they're stretchy. They're in a size medium, which is a pretty good size. These definitely are running more true to size than a lot of their tops and things that are really like oversized, but these were only $5. So these were $5.29, but this was also a silver tag. So I spent a little bit under $4, I think, somewhere right around there for these. Really cute. I checked the crotch a couple times because I did not want to get burned, but 
really cute pair of shorts. I'm expecting probably to list these right around $35 and then hope to make like 25 to 30 on them, which would be great. I mean, for $3, that's a good return, I think. And then this next piece is it's so cute. I love this. I actually recognize this right off the bat because I wanted to buy one of these when they were selling these at Anthropology. So I saw this, I thought this was so cute. It's this gorgeous beaded little pouch. It's this really nice kind of like blushy, colored velvet for the pouch and then this is actually new so it has this still wrapped it has all the pieces attached to it it's new with tags and it's from anthropology it was a collab with anna harlow russo i'm not familiar with her but that's what the inside looks like and since it is brand new it should actually resell for a good amount i was contemplating my mom's name is nada and also my best friend's twin's name is noli so i felt like i could give this as a gift very easily but I also could resell it for about $25 to $35, brand new, because this is so cute. But this was only $3.99. So I picked it up for $4. I could sell it for like, put it up around $35, hopefully sell it for $25 at least. So I'm kind of debating what I'm gonna do with it still, but even so, I thought it was such a cute little bag. Isn't that adorable? I just love anthropology things in general. And when I find them for a reasonable price, all the better. Okay, now we have a piece that the name stuck out to me. I was like, oh, I feel like I've heard somebody talk about this before. And I think, if I remember correctly, it was Common Tags. That's who I think I heard talking about David Lerner, but I found a David Lerner jacket. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of more like a kind of 80s style fit. At least that's what I sort of think of where it has the bigger boxier kind of shoulders and then, you know, tapers down to the wrist. A little bit of a bat wing sleeve here, but it's a nice zip up jacket from David Lerner. And that is what the tank looks like. Lerner spelled without the A in it. And it's in a size large. So this is a women's jacket. And I looked it up and the resale comps looked like they were pretty good, like around $50, sometimes 65 for a jacket like this. So I picked it up for $6.99. It was not on sale, but for $7, I was like, okay, to make 50, happy with that. This is what the back looks like, but I thought I would give it a try. It wasn't that expensive, it was pretty, pretty reasonably priced I thought for a jacket around me like usually it's like $12.99 for a jacket so grabbed that hopefully we can sell that pretty quickly I'm hopefully going to be cross listing all of these things both to eBay and Mercari tabs and I were actually just talking about that off of where we record the zoom call and I think I really need to start investing more in eBay so we'll see if I can put that on there and then we have a piece that I picked up because it was half off it was a blue tag but it's also new with tags and a really just really cute piece it's not something that is crazy out there it's just from J Crew, but I just thought this was such a cute darling little top it has a lot of great texture to it kind of a little bit of a balloon sleeve that tapers into the wrist really fun texture and then we have that ruffle on the front in a v i think this is just so darling it's a really interesting color like a greenish yellow we have the keyhole opening in the back and this was in a size extra extra small from j crew and some people are scared to pick up those smaller sizes i don't mind picking up those smaller sizes when i know that things either run big or there's a market for it and there is a market for an extra extra small from j crew from madewell things like that but there's the tag it doesn't have the price attached to it but we do have all the SKU number and all of that so this was supposed to be six dollars it was a blue tag so i picked this up for three dollars not too bad at all three dollars i'm expecting to probably sell this around 35. like i would be happy to make that it's a really cute piece. Even if it sells for 25, I'm still happy turning $3 into 25, that's not too bad. But hopefully we'll sell it around 35. And I thought that was such a cute color heading into spring and summer, paired with like a skirt, a high-waisted floral skirt. It'd be really darling and very, very bohemian, which I think is really popular this spring. And then I have quite a few pairs of jeans left, so let's hop into one of them. This I shared on Tab's channel already. So excited about these jeans. You have no idea. I literally started like sweating profusely just thinking about it. <laughs> but this is a pair of Yves Saint Laurent jeans, which is absolutely insane. The brand tag, they must have removed it because it was uncomfortable. That's what I think at least. But this is a pair of black Yves Saint Laurent jeans. And I had no idea. I just saw this little metal like chain and I was like that looks really nice I don't know why somebody would put that into a cheap pair of jeans but then I looked very closely at this button I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it says Saint Laurent on the button and I was like like is Saint Laurent and it is these are so cool so excited that I found these 
These have some distressing on the knees. They're a raw edge hem skinny jean. They're in great condition and I'm not exactly sure what all of these numbers and letters mean. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure this is the size and the style, but such a cool pair of jeans, such a good find. And they didn't know what it was because that tag got cut out. I mean, I didn't either. Um, but then, but because they didn't know what it was, they marked these at $7.29. So this was a silver tag. I got 33% off. I bought these for about five bucks. And I would say retail, they probably retailed for a couple hundred dollars and I should be able to sell them around a hundred, maybe 150 if I'm lucky. If they were new with tags, I would make a couple hundred bucks off of these. But since they are used, I'm assuming that I'll probably get more like closer to the hundred dollars. But even so, I spent five dollars and if I sell them for a hundred, so good. I'm so excited about these. <laughs> okay, then I have some fun colorful pieces. I am enjoying a lot of color this spring and summer. I'm wearing purple today, a little bit muted, but still fun and colorful. This next piece is something I debated on because I found so many amazing items. I was like really, really harsh with my car. I was trying to cut it down, but I had to pick this up because it was so pretty. This is a gorgeous floral little lightweight blazer jacket in the most delicate little orange blooms, so cute. And this is from Scotch and Soda. So Scotch and Soda can do really well. It just depends on the piece. You always have to look up your comps. But I just thought this was a gorgeous colored piece and we're heading into the right season, which is a major reason why I picked it up. This is in a size medium and it wasn't on sale. That's why I was debating it. It was $8.79. I am really a bins kind of gal. I love paying like a dollar per item. So $8 was like, ooh, is it worth it? but I thought it was, I looked and found the exact same piece that had sold and it sold for about 50 to $65. So I decided it was worth it for that much. And it's just a really beautiful piece. It has that kind of contrast stitching along the hem here. Very, very beautiful. So this is gorgeous. I'm sure this should sell quickly. With the spring and summer here, I think it's just the perfect color scheme. So I grabbed that. And then I also, I very quickly looked through swimwear just for myself honestly because i wanted to find a new pair of bottoms but when i was there i saw this little top but i mean it's nothing just to look at it's just like a little triangle bikini it has a very popular style right now which is that metal ring in the middle it has these things dangling from it but i saw that it was new with tags so i looked at the tags and i have heard good things about becca swimwear so i decided to pick this up this is in a size medium we still have everything attached here i think that mogi beth is the one that mentioned this in a swimwear like brands that she picks up so i know that it should do pretty well really excited to give it a try this is what the logo looks like I do feel like this looks like an old logo. I think that this is their current one, but I feel like they might need a, a new refresh, but this is a halter style, ties around the neck, and then we also have a tie here at the back. Honestly, it looks kind of tiny for being a medium, but you know what, who am I to question it? So this is what it looks like. I think it's really cute. I looked at comps and it looks like it should resell for about $50. For just a top which is crazy so somewhere between 35 to 50 is what i'm hoping to make from this thought that was a cute piece and i almost forgot to mention this was marked at 6.99 so seven dollars for a brand new top but it's a blue tag so i spent three dollars and fifty cents which is amazing okay i know this haul is popping i feel like it really is if you guys are watching and are liking, then I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join me here on my channel. This is a pair of jeans that I did some research on. I had not heard of this brand before, but it retails for good money and the resale is pretty good as well. It's from the brand Emerson Fry. They're in a size four. Again, another pair of black skinny jeans which I think are gonna be trending again this coming fall for sure. We have that kind of interesting kind of stitching, almost like a patch on the knee, which is cool. And we have a zipper down at the edge here. Really cool pair of jeans. Originally these probably cost again, like $200-ish, maybe 300. It's a nicer brand. And the resale looked like I could get at least 50, maybe more for these. So again, it was a yes for me. It has this really fun distressing only on this side, which I thought was kind of cute with the like light distressing. And I grabbed these for $6.79, which is a steal. <laughs> I feel like jeans, getting jeans for around five or $6, always good. So $7 into them. Hopefully we can resell them for at least 50. 
maybe 75. I would love that, but that's kind of aiming for the stars, <laughs> but that's what they look like. Another cute pair of jeans. I did find a lot of jeans, but jeans have a really good resale value, so I love picking them up now. Okay, then we have this beautiful top. I was really excited to find this. I spent the least amount of time in the top section, but I did find some really good ones. This one is this really cute, like kind of deep V-neck blouse that is from Theory, and I really enjoy picking up Theory. I do pretty well with it. I've sold quite a few really nice pieces for well over $100. So this white long sleeve blouse is just it's gorgeous and it's 100% silk, which is amazing. This is what the top looks like. I love this neckline. I think it's so pretty, but there's the theory name. Now it says PTP on this. Now, last time I asked you guys what this meant, I think it's extra small, right? Trace petite. I think it's actually French, but that's what it looks like. I think it's an extra small. If I'm wrong, <laughs> let me know, but look how cute that is. I love the deep V. It's a gorgeous piece should do well it's a great transitional piece like workwear but also you could wear this out like so pretty this was marked up they knew what they had here but 11.99 silver made it more worth it for me i think i spent like eight dollars on this rather than 12 which i'm okay with i think eight dollars is totally fair for a 100 percent silk theory blouse that i can maybe sell for at least 50 dollars, maybe up to 100 for being silk that really was a determinant too if this wasn't silk i might not have picked it up so this should do well, <laughs> we'll see, I guess, but I think that it's so pretty. I'm gonna put it up on Mercari eBay for sure, and hopefully we'll make a good amount of money from that. Okay, now we have another new to me brand, and it's so exciting. This is my first time ever finding this, and it is Mother. How exciting is this? The only time I've ever seen this before out thrifting was at a buy sell trade store. I was at a Plitter's Closet, and they had them marked at $50. And for $50, I was just like, uh, I've never sold them before. That's a lot to try to decide if you want to spend on a pair of jeans. But when I saw them at the thrift for $14, I was like, okay, $15 into them. They were 33% off. I think I spent like around $10 on that. Great price for mother jeans. I have not sold these yet. So here's hoping they do well for me too. But that is what the tag looks like. They have the M's on the butt. And then there's another mother tag right there as well. So very exciting find for me. These are in the looker ankle fray and they're in a size 27. So they look like they're gonna hit just at the ankle and they are a raw edge hem. They're really cute. They are a dark wash blue and I think that they're gonna do great. I'm hopeful. I'll look up some comps. I saw a lot of mother jeans selling for around $100, sometimes more. So if I can get 100 out of these, I would be over the moon excited. I have potential to make a really good amount of money from this haul, and I'm really excited about it. So that was that pair of jeans. I think that's the last pair of jeans. I think so. <laughs> this next piece, again, they did not know what this was, and I'm happy about it. It is this top, another new to me brand. I found a lot of them this time. This is a full button down and kind of like a chambray, kind of almost denim-ish, but not quite fabric. And this is from APC. So APC Paris, very, very nice brand. Really kind of actually a good reseller. They have good value. It doesn't look like much, but it is a great brand for reselling. It's a size small. It was recently dry cleaned as well, which is very helpful. And it's just 100% cotton. But when I was looking this up on Poshmark, at least, they show you different keywords that people are searching for when you type in a brand. And one of them was denim. So for a denim top, I think this should do well. People apparently are looking for it. It has some nice ruching up here at the shoulders very pretty piece it should do well i was looking and it looked like these were reselling between like 50 to 65 dollars and since they didn't really know what this was they marked it at 4.99 which is about pretty even for all of the different shirts there five dollars into it hopefully we'll make at least 50. that'd be amazing i am excited to give this brand a try again first time finding it really happy that i found it <sighs> This haul is so good. I hope I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I am literally like so excited about it. <laughs> okay, now we have two more pieces left. This first one is a vintage piece and I love finding some really good vintage pieces. I know Tabs does too. This is so fun because I love vintage Disney and I actually found the other piece to this. It was a set. 
Unfortunately, the other piece did have stains on it, so I didn't pick it up, but I did grab this vest, which is so cute. This is this vintage 101 Dalmatians vest, which is so sweet. You can see the little Dalmatians on the pockets there. It's very black and white, polka dot -y inspired coloring with that red running throughout. It's very Cruella de Vil. And also because Cruella did so well in box offices, I feel like a lot of people have really been re-inspired to watch the 101 Dalmatians movie. So this is actually pretty good timing, I feel like, especially if Cruella 2, if they make a second one, I feel like this was a good pickup. It is absolutely adorable. The back is like that black kind of silky feel and it has that tie. The other part of this was like a white three quarter length sleeve shirt that had embroidered Dalmatians up here, but it was, it was not in good shape. So I did leave it. This is in a mixture of rayon and cotton and it's in a size extra large, which is an amazing size. So this was sold at the Disney store. Definitely a vintage tag from them. That is what it looks like. And this was marked at $3.99. So I picked it up for $4. And my guess is I can probably resell this right around $35, maybe $50. $35 is probably more reasonable. And I just think it's so adorable. Is that not so fun? I think it's really cute. And I just love Disney. I love finding vintage Disney and it sells well for me. You know, I decided to throw it on just because why not? <laughs> so that was this piece. And then the last piece that I found was another pair of shorts. And I found these at the same spot I found those free people shorts. And I just thought these were so cute and such a good color too. Oh, I just think this is so sweet. If these were my size, I would definitely be keeping them. They have an elastic in the back too, so they'll be comfortable. I'm pretty sure, I think these are called the camp shorts from Madewell. Um, but these are from Madewell and these are in a size medium. So I love Madewell. Madewell is definitely my style, but also I believe that these are called the camp shorts. These were popular last summer. I think that's what these are. I'll have to do some reconnaissance and look up the different style names. I love the pockets on the back. They look so comfortable and high-waisted. And these are in 99% cotton, a little bit of elastane in there that's probably from that waistband. But such a cute pair of shorts. And again, these were on sale, which is amazing. They were $4.79. So I got these for like, I think like $3, somewhere around there. Not a bad price. And I'm sure I can resell these right around that $25 to $35 amount. And I really enjoy reselling Madewell, so it's an easy pickup for me for sure. So, thought those were cute, grabbed them. Hopefully we'll get those out soon for spring and summer. <laughs> that color is killing me, I love it. So that is it for my haul. I'm gonna leave this on, I think it's really cute. Um, but if you guys enjoyed today's video, I would invite you to come and join my channel, hit that subscribe button, and if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me what piece was your favorite. And also, after this, go and hit the link in my description to go over to Tab's video too. I want to see us representing over in her comment section because I really believe in Tab's. I think she's an amazing content creator. I really like her a lot. So definitely give us both some support on today's video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.